it will change the world yes. when when people are putting video cameras on these police officers at all times. There's no question in my mind the world. Will I'm with Derek J. Freeman of Infamous Peace News Now, which is a fantastic show if you haven't checked it out. Derek, you said earlier on your show that you were not thinking about coming to Liberty Forum. What changed your mind? Uh, I was given an offer by blockchain.info to watch their booth for a little while and as a gift because I had done free work for blockchain in the past, uh, producing videos, instructional videos on how to use... Um, their wallet apps, how to install it, and a couple of other tools like double encryption. Because I produced videos for blockchain.info, they were like, here, you know, like, come to Liberty Forum. And so that was a big help. So thanks, blockchain.info. Well, that's fantastic. Um, now, another question. You're in, in uh, you have a self imposed exile because of uh, what happened in your documentary, Derek J. Victimless Crime Spree. That's true. And when does that end? May, uh, May of this year. So it's. I went into jail May 7th, 2012, and so May 7th, 2014 is when my exile will end. I'm returning to the Shire the month after. June 15th is the date that I've selected, and I, I, I look Fest. forward to coming back right before Pork Fest, and I will be a New Hampshire inhabitant once again. Where are you moving to? Keene! Keen because uh, a, no Manchester. Oh no, it's a seri it was a serious battle for a couple of years deciding am I gonna when I move back am I gonna go back to Keene or Manchester, and I thought a lot about it. I visited both places. Uh, ultimately, the activism that's happening in Keene excites me more. I have uh, so much love for everyone in New Hampshire, uh, so it's certainly not uh, vindictive or in any way like. Uh, speaking against Manchester because the things happening in Manchester are also very exciting and there are more people. It's more like a city, which I'm used to being from Philadelphia, but Keene is special. I know the cops by first name and they know me. And uh, the things that are happening there are unlike anything anywhere else in the world. What should people expect from Peace News Now in the future and from you in the future? Well, from Peace News Now, expect regular podcasts live each Sunday and Tuesday. You can catch them at lrn.fm or at peacenewsnow.com. And from me in the future, well, I'm working on a couple of things. I've got a comedy, a dark comedy show that I've been working on called Sick Sad World. It's sort of the uh, antithesis of Peace News Now. And it's a, it's a way to get out the very important news that's sometimes not so peaceful. But... Uh, comedy, some more peace news now, podcasts, and working within the Bitcoin space and coming back to Keene, I'll uh, hope, hopefully get active working in the Bitcoin world. Sweet. Well, it's, it'd be great to see you back in New Hampshire. And the other thing, yeah, it's, thank you. It'll be good to be back in New Hampshire. But the other thing, since I won't have any um, time over my head, I think the issue that I'd really like to drive home with civil disobedience or peaceful non-cooperation is the issue of filming uh, a right to record. People have a right to record what is happening in their world, in public places, uh, when public officials are acting in the <laughs> their official capacities. So I, I think that issue really needs to be driven home, and I'd be happy to carry that torch for a while. I'm right with you. I'd love to be able to document my entire life. It will change the world. When, yes. when people are putting video cameras on these police officers at all times, there's no question in my mind the world will change. All right, Derek J. Peace.